right now, there is a nationwide labor shortage that is impacting many industries, including emergency response. But Granger County is thinking ahead and planning for the future. The EMS team is training a group of high school students and providing them hands-on experience as paramedics. Reporter Mary Klingler gives us an inside look at the lessons these students will learn. Well guys, you may be wondering why I'm sitting in this seat. I'm actually in the back of an ambulance and it's where students are gonna be sitting in the near future. You know, this is what the job is and how cool it is. In a time where help is hard to find, Granger County EMS is getting creative when it comes to combating the labor shortage. They'll be able to see it, yeah, and they'll be able to get that photographic memory when they run calls with us that hey, this is something I wanna do. These first responders are bringing in 20 area high school students to show them the ropes. They don't know what it is. You know, I've asked some of the kids, hey, what do you, what do you, what do you wanna do for a living? They're like, oh, I wanna be a welder. That's a good job, but I mean, if you like adrenaline having fun, we gotta show them how cool it is. So. Students will undergo a 90 day training program, learning the basics before they get to ride along with EMTs on real calls. And when you're by yourself in the back of an ambulance, it's just you. Teach them how to take a blood pressure. We're gonna teach them CPR. Another valuable takeaway, students will get Stop the Bleed certified. Stop uh, an injury that might be bleeding while they're waiting for the paramedics to get there. It'll be like a job for students, working eight hour shifts with EMTs. They'll not only get to see what a paramedic does in an ambulance, they will also learn what it means to be a public servant. Public service has a lot to, lot to do besides just being an EMT or a paramedic. They'll get out into the community to assist at special events, directing traffic and providing on-site stop the bleed assistance if needed. Show some interest and hopefully build our field back up. Now officials say April 19th is when all of this is going to begin. Reporting in Granger County, I'm Mary Klingler. And so far, 14 students have signed up for the program. If your high school student is interested, it's not too late. They will take up to 20 students total and training begins Tuesday.